Well, when I was younger, this was one of the greatest art pieces I'd seen. I'd always known that our butter in New Zealand was always solid, so we got taught to use spoons to heat up the knives, and then you use the knives to cut through the butter and easily go on to your bread or your toast, of course. All depends on what you had in your house when you were younger. So I've always been amazed how this works, how the top spoon elevates the heat down onto the bottom and reflects it onto the top of the knife while the flame at the bottom heats the bottom of the knife so it distributes the heat beautifully. And then that way you grab your knife and then when it comes to the butter, oh, just cut straight through and then, oh, spreads just like just soft, creamy butter that just spreads beautifully on your toast. And of course, don't leave the knife out too long because it will cool down. So it's best to put it back under the heat source um, so it's ready for the next person. Uh, people always say, so you put the spoons on the top so you can heat up the top of the knife exactly exactly you know you want to get two sides at once and the best way is the spoons um the other thing is too is people think ah oh, they always ask me so how come your kiwis always play the spoons and i tell them you know why bro i'll tell you exactly because sometimes when the knives are heating up like such right you might get unexpected visitors and you don't want them to steal your creative artwork. So what you do then is you grab the knives and you put them down by your bread like so. You grab the other knife like this, okay? Doesn't matter if the spoon falls like such and you grab it and I'll tell you, they are bloody hot as, man. And this is what happens next. Okay, at this stage, be very careful because those spoons will be hot. And what you want to do is position them so you end up Once your unexpected visitors have left, reposition your knives and your spoon, turn the gas back on, get that knife nice and hot so you can cut through that butter and spread it creamily onto your toast. And that's how the spoon instrument was born.